And I remember uh, I went to a comic book store one day with my parents, and the Wolverine figure was there, and it was expensive. It was like maybe, I think, 20, 25 bucks, when really the other figures only cost like seven, eight bucks. So this one was worth three to four times more than a normal figure because of its rarity. And I turned to my mo mother and father, and I said, Guys, listen. I want that action figure for my birthday. So the way it worked is that maybe once a week we would go to the comic book store. Week four we go back. It's gone. We asked the store owner what happened. Someone bought it. So my birthday came and passed, and guess what? My parents go, we're very sorry, Philip, but we couldn't find the action figure. I said, I told you to buy the figure. Why don't you listen to me? I met him 15 years ago. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes the devil's eyes. I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. For 15 years I've been obsessed to find out what was going on inside of him. It's been my life work and my ultimate failure. This force, this thing that lived inside of him came from a source too violent too deadly for you to imagine. This house is sacred to him. He has all his memories here. His rage, it grew inside him, contaminating his soul. It was pure evil. And yes, I see someone asking in the chat, yes, my parents did have the money to buy it. They were just fucking stupid. Phil, you make me angry, Phil.